Hi, it's Power with a C Sharp exercise from uh, the C Sharp 2012 How to Program book. And um, we are uh, on chapter 7, exercise 9, rounding to nearest integer. So we will be using an app method of, of method math.floor, which is rounding a value to the nearest integer. Now the statement is y equals math.floor and then x plus 0 0.5, which will round the number x to the nearest integer and assign the result to y. All right? So we will have two variables, one y and one x. x is the number that we, uh, we enter as users, and y is the result of the, of the rounding. Now we will write an app that reads double values and uses the preceding statement to round each of the numbers to the nearest integer. So uh, we will use doubles and uh, we will round them. And for each number process, we will display both the original number and the rounded number. Okay, so we need two numbers. Uh, they're supposed to be doubles, so double employed x and double y. Uh, so, how do we go about this? Well, we can uh, we can simply ask for the input, but I am going to be asking for the input until the user decides, you know, to to quit. So, in other words, we will do a loop. So, while uh, while what? While while the let's say while the user doesn't uh, enter a negative number. So, while x is not less than zero, then we will do the loop. And once the user enters like, let's say negative one, then the loop will end. So I will initialize our x to zero. I will initialize the y to zero. So we don't get any uninitialized variables uh, errors. While, uh, so uh, it cannot be applied to the type double. All right. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to reverse it. While x is greater than zero, that's the correct one anyway. While x is correct and greater than zero, uh, greater or equal to, I guess, than zero, uh, then we, we will do the calculation. So we will ask the user, console that uh, right line, please enter value to round or enter negative number to quit. All right, so the user enters a number and we will store the number in our x. So our x will equal and we have to of course convert it to double. So it's console dot uh, uh, read line, not write line, read line. All right, so uh, now we have our input. Now this is the number that we will be rounding. So we can use the formula, which was uh, y equals math dot four plus zero point five. So all right, I'll just copy the whole thing. Uh, our y will now equal this formula. And now we can, you know, display the results. So uh, console dot uh, right line the original number was. I'll do a placeholder, and it's going to be a float. Uh, I'll do four four decimal places, and it's going to be our x. That's our original. And console dot right line rounded number is and it's going to be a float again with four decimal places and uh, that's our y there you have it and over here we will do console dot read line to pause the screen so let's try that let's see what we get So please enter a value to round 
or enter negative number to quit. So I'll enter the number, I'll, I'll enter whole number, four. So the original number was four, rounded number is four. So now I have about 4.1234. The original number is one, two, four, one, two, three, four, but the rounded number is four. So how about uh, 5.6897? So it rounds it to six. And uh, I don't know, 7.5012, that should be eight. And it is rounded to eight. Now I'll enter negative number, minus one. Oh, it still tries to round it, but it, it does exit the loop if I press enter to program exits. So, uh, over here, when we, uh, if the user still enters a number and it still goes and does the, this part of the program as well, it still does the calculation and display. So we can put that in a conditional statement. If X is greater or equal to zero, then you'll do this, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, like that. So if that, this is true, only then you perform the calculation and display. If it's not true, it, it, this is skipped all the way to the end of the loop, enters here, it finds out that it's false and it exits the loop. Let me test that. So again, 1.1 1 .1 to 3. 5.658, whatever. So the rounding is working, and if I enter a negative one, now nothing happening. The I have to, the program exits. It doesn't doesn't display any calculation, and it doesn't take the number and doesn't try to round it. All right. So this was very quick, uh, very simple. I hope it helped you, and I'll see you next time. Take care.